Alright, Monday morning, another day in the life vlog. Gonna get some breakfast, some bison strips, and some Greek yogurt. I had to ride my bike to go pick up the work truck from a pig barn. We're really not at the farm. It'll be about a seven or eight mile ride, I think. Not really sure. But uh, we'll get breakfast and go ahead and get that done. Get the day started off with that. Go get chores done at the farm. Come back, get started on some training. And maybe work on a doghouse tonight if we get some time. protein breakfast today keeping it a little bit light since so I'm gonna have to hit a bike ride first thing in the morning so I got the vanity Allie's been remodeling this for our the dresser for remodeling it for our bathroom vanity we got the first coat of primer on there we uh, redid all this wood sanded it down and uh, put some stain on it Allie's been heading that project looks pretty good You know I'm not leaving my house without a Paper Street coffee. Charged my light last night so I don't get hit by any cars. Here's my bike. It's the Trek bike from the 2022 CrossFit Games. And the boss named that event, Bike to Work. I took that personally.
here's the shop over at the farm. This is my dad and uncle's farm that I work at. Merton's farm might be the fifth generation. 120 years I've been farming here. All right, got a little bit of paperwork to do. Uh, get some feed ordered and I'm gonna go ahead and head back home and get started on training. Need some new tires pretty soon. Look at how these damn hands are. It's heavy handed right there. Twenty-four minute bike home, another five miles. Twelve miles on the bike today. Dang, we got up there a little bit. 158 beats. It's pretty high for me on a road bike. All right, back home now. I need to get some carbs. It's about 12 miles of biking this morning, plus chores at the farm. So I'm gonna be a little bit depleted if I don't restore some of those carbohydrates before training. But first, I need to go to the local metal shop putting in an order for some metal. It's about time to build the rig. I'm excited. Check out these blueprints. And there she is, 12 feet tall, 14 feet wide. I need to get my bolts ordered, <clears throat> get holes drilled in the metal, get it all put together, get it painted. Got my car here, a couple of these, a couple of these. It's about 60 grams of carbs, so that'll, that's a pretty good chunk. I'll replenish some carbohydrates before I start training. I typically don't eat a huge lunch. Usually that, for me personally, just I feel really weighed down. I'll kind of snack throughout the day, and dinner is where I really get a lot of my calories in, especially when it comes to fats and carbs. Most of that is gonna come from dinner. Protein I try and get throughout the day, just consistently, it helps. Based on the research I've seen, it helps a little bit. You know, you first of all, you want to hit your overall macronutrient protein goal. And that'll get you, you know, 95% of the way there. But you want to kind of maximize a little bit more. You can get that protein spread throughout the day. I mean, you know, it helps just a little bit. But that's kind of an easy thing, you know, with how hard I train. And all the effort I put into trying to be good. That's a really easy way to get, you know, just a little bit more bang for your buck. If you're somebody who is <clears throat> not competing, you have to kind of ask yourself if it's worth it to put in the extra effort to get the extra 5%. So I mean, most things, you know, you can get 80%, 90% of the way there, get 90% of the value, and that last 10% is probably gonna cost another 50% increase in effort. So this is, if you're not competing, 
you know, you're gonna get 90, 90, 90, 95% of the value by just hitting your protein goal. And you have to decide for yourself if it's worth the extra planning and time to spread it out throughout the day. So you can get a little bit more benefit, but is it worth it for most people? That's something that you have to kind of decide for yourself. Just something to think about. <clears throat> Five minutes in the chili goat, then we'll get to training. Alrighty, <clears throat> another five minutes in. Whew. Right off, get just training. Good Otis over there sleeping in a hole that he dug. Sleep little guy out there in the sun. Margo. Dog gas coming along. Alrighty, time to get started on training now. We're gonna do some strength work first. Got some snatches, and we're gonna do some running intervals, and then into the metcons and accessory stuff. Here we go. Finished up my accessory work. All done with training for today now. Good day of training. Got a lot of work done. But now it's about six o'clock. I gotta go get groceries. I hate getting groceries, but I gotta eat. Gotta go grab some groceries, come back home, hop in the chili goat, then hang out with the weenies, hang out with Allie, do some recovery work, get ready for bed. Grocery put away. Now another dip in the chili goat. What in the world is going on? Stealing the chili goat too long. Oh, you poor thing. Fighting for my life. A little bit pathetic. <laughs> you okay? Hey, at least you have the uh, paper street coffee. It's sure to keep you warm. Yeah. All right, time for dinner. Gonna do some recovery work. Hang out with the weenies. And Allie. Yeah. It's been a late night here. We're still gonna get a good dinner in. Some ice age meals for Colton and Allie. This is something I always have for dinner. 25 grams, that little cup. They're delicious. And then Wolverine protein shake, as always. And then some cottage cheese and Chick-fil-A sauce. You laughing at me? Yeah, I'm laughing at you.
guys, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and head off to bed. Thanks for watching. Time to roll the weenie footage.